Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Rote Reactions. I'm S.A. Baz Collins here once again with my fabulous co-host. Hi, this is Albert Nufflet. So we're going Oof. to do another Dead Boy Detectives. This so one excited. is episode two called The Case of the Dandelion Shrine. Ooh. I love when you have cryptic, tale, cryptic titles and I have no idea what you're fucking into. I love those titles. They remind me of when I used to read detective stuff as a kid and more recently, like Venture Brothers uh, episodes, the early ones. So this is really cool. <laughs> All right. So you ready to dive in? Let's see where we get yes, let's go. this one. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. here we go. Ooh. I kept wondering from the last one, what do they get, get paid in? Yeah. I, they ask for payment. Yeah, they ask for payment. And I, I don't know what it is that they could yeah. possibly use. We are the dead boys. Toplasm. <laughs> I'm the broad. We're ghosts and we solve mysteries. Sort of. I would like you to help my friend Crystal. Why can't I remember? Probably a temporary side effect of the demonic possession. She shouldn't even be here. Why is she in our office? Imagine if we had a psychic around for the case of the Shrieking Doll. Plus, she can help out with the living. How did Crystal become friends with the little Victorian Yeah, girl? I know that. We need to have that answer, yeah, too. Uh, excuse me? Wouldn't the little girl be trapped <laughs> in, like, England or whatever? Hello? Hi. Oh, that's right. Finding spell. Positive energy girl. Now. Oh, no. Fading that evil witch for an air mattress in the office, right? Great idea, Crystal. We'll discuss it. Oi, cat. You come to say goodbye? You're not going anywhere. Your fancy pal uses magic on a cat. He's got to answer for it. A good detective doesn't mm -hmm. need to in order to solve a case. Now move. The cat king is pissed. We're taking it to him. No. Oh. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the cat king. <laughs> this is so. Oh my god, so many kitties. Uh, it looks like your mom's house. <laughs> wow. Oh, exactly. I told you, you she has 15 with cats. Me. Yeah. Yeah, you pissed off the wrong people. It reminds me kind of like the cats of Ulthar or something, you know? Like, you just do not attack cats. <laughs> Here he is! I know it's him! Oh, and he's a... He's a main coon. Love that. Hi, cat. Uh, no. Don't just say bunch of cats. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell? I was not... Just a bunch of cats. Oh, fuck. <laughs> to see the cat king there he is hi hi can all cats do that can all cats do that of course not i'm a cat king I can tell you're not the brains of the operation oh, sorry i'm already bored <laughs> which one of them used the magic on you the scrawny one that just had the need to talk to you Oh, we are the dead boy detectives and we're solving a mystery. So oh, I don't care. Using magic on my cats is a total car crash on your part. We should discuss your offense privately. Oi, he's not going anywhere with you. Charles, come here. Oh. Perhaps a conversation is the best play here. I agree with Charles. Let's just kick cats into her out the door. She wants to end up like him. No. Not to mention, cat scratches are like poison to ghosts, and there are too many cats here who seem to know that. I don't like my cat's getting up, so something. She's got her hackles up. <laughs> Telling secret company already. Didn't we dare try any funny business? Hmm. <laughs> so. What should your punishment be? What did Charles go? Charles. Ooh. Do you two have a <laughs> special 
friendship? <laughs> As my cat tail yeah, crosses. Friends, if you must know. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. You don't have to do all that. This is a safe space. My kingdom is all about wine. <laughs> oh. And pleasure. You're threatening to punish me. Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Well. Ooh, kinky. Can we clear up this magic leash business? I'm afraid I don't see the harm in one little spell. Oh, no? You don't? You are so oddly handsome. You fascinate me. I love the tail. What the hell is this? Up there? What's your punishment? It's a caging spell. It keeps you in this town. My kingdom. <laughs> Can't leave, not in a car, mm -hmm. not in a boat, not in a plane, not on a train, and definitely, definitely not through a mirror. The little ghosts are so tricky. Unacceptable. Kind of rude it. We cannot stay here. It is dangerous. Oh, Edwin, what was it you just said to me? I don't see the harm in one little spell. <laughs> Look, it comes Ooh. right off as soon as you make me happy. Then what would uh, you How? I'm not fairly sure we could figure something out. Mm. I just love how cat-like he is. He's very good at it. But I can see that has offended your old-fashioned sensibilities. Look, I'm a fair and consensual cat king. So I will give you another option. Count all the cats in Port Townsend, and then the bracelet will come off. Count all of the cats in Port Townsend. Edwin! You wow, right? okay. Where have you been? I've been being gone a few moments. Now, you've been gone for literal hours. Uh, what is that on your wrist? <laughs> you had it coming. Don't yeah. mess with kitties. That's right. Isn't that right, Taki? <laughs> It was was kind of going along with it when the cat king was kind of trying to kiss him. Uh huh. <laughs> Lucas yeah. Cage is the, Lucas Cage is the one who's playing the cat king, and he's oh. an out he's an out queer actor. Oh, that's wonderful. That's what I love also about um, the people who get cast in this. The queer actors play queer parts mm -hmm. in, in a number of these um, in uh, Good Omens. The two leads are the queer pairing, but they're both played by straight men, but it's done very mm. well. But a lot of queer char queer actors play a lot of the queer parts. Oh. So I like that he gives queer actors space to play. Yes, it's really important. Yeah, I had a sense that they would be staying. Many of the people introduced felt like recurring characters. So I was like, how are they going to keep them there? I guess now we know. Yes, especially. Mate, you think that's gonna do it? You tried picking the lock. I cannot go through the mirror today. What about iron? Other suggestions? You could start counting cats, like counting them as fast as you can. That cat king would not give me something that easy. He's a trickster. You possessed a witch, exposing us to reprisals from the afterlife. Of which you're immune at this point, <laughs> because you can't go anywhere. But you always fixate oh, yeah. on the worst yeah. outcome. You are not the one going back to hell if we get caught. You just move on. Oi, we don't know what my afterlife looks like. And also, I'm not going anywhere without you, and no one's going anywhere Aww. until that thing is off. What else did Whiskers say? Nothing. Uh -huh. I told you mm. this was quick. 
Okay, Heiji. Interesting. Oh, you love this, don't you? Oh my god, here we go. Which part do I love? Oh my god, I'm tired of this bickering too. Being harassed by my demon stalker ex. No, you're right. I love being stuck in a strange town where I have a literal 0% chance of finding my parents. Enough with the banging. Whatever. Thank you. John Hughes level bullshit that's going on in here. Just do it more quietly. I'm trying to be patient because I have a pretty strong feeling you have nowhere else to go. So mm -hmm. chill. My uncle! Whoa. Oh, hey. Hi. On us, but mail. You do not have to bring the agency mail here. We're not staying long. Mail gets forwarded to wherever you are. By whom? Well, it's not all junk. Mm. Look, a magic shop. Let's get that bracelet looked at by a professional. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, I am. Oh, I like that. That's so cool. Oh, jeez. Crap. What the fuck just happened? She's bleeding. Oh, my God. You know, this shop is really aces, Tragic Mick. Yep. Not a bad showing for a cursed walrus who's trapped on land looking like a man, and that's not coming off. Right, you're a cursed Oops. walrus. That's cool. With shelves full of magical trinkets, and so not one of them will work? Uh, yep. That there's one of them spells that can only be undone by the caster. <sighs> Great. Well, no luck here. So that bracelet is staying on. Ah. <laughs> uh, huh. There must be something else that can help us. I want to know about the walrus. You can take this. Okay. Cool. What does it do? Makes a great paper mm -hmm. weed. Plus, it's enchanted to make ocean sounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Thank what? You. Oh, Jesus. Esther, forgot that you were still, uh, browsing. Hmm. Right. You're just so... Gorgeous. Terrifyingly quiet. Well, you know me. I like to take my time, savor the details, stalk my prey. Did, um, did my ears deceive me or did those boys say that they're stuck in my um in, in my town <laughs> uh, yep they said something like that well <clears throat> i'll take this what do you plan on doing with that uh, let's call it a revenge starter cat <laughs> to open the shop. The crystal, can you keep an eye on her? Yeah. Great. You can call me if anything changes. <laughs> that was rather embarrassing for you. All right. Let's see what's really going on in that head. Is that... <laughs> Charles, something's wrong. Crystal? That's enough! Crystal! Is she alright? I'm okay. I'm okay. What was that? The colors and, and light. Whatever's doing this, I've never seen anything like it. You know, you had me scared there for a minute. Here is the list of questions to ask her when she wakes. So you'll help her? This is an almost perfect example of a supernatural mystery that can only be solved by us. Clearly, living Dr. Prudentali useless. Come on, Edwin. It's not his fault Western medicine is so limited, is it? Charles, stop being so nice. Crystal, stay with Nico. Back shortly. 
Uh, why do I have to babysit? Being a detective is not all invading people's minds, reading objects, and ta-da, there's your answer. Sometimes, actual detective work is required. We need our reference books from London. Is it this one? No. No. Once again, it is a large blue medical volume. <laughs> Blue to you, Charles. Well, I can't see where you're pointing to, can I? And I'm unfortunately chained to a town across an ocean, but I'm doing my level best. Now, it should be down and to the left. Is that your left or my left? We have the same left. Same left. left. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, there's nothing that matches any of Nico's symptoms in here or in those. Check again and move quickly, please. Remember, Death has been here and can very well come back. And also, half of these are written in ancient Aramaic. They are perfectly understandable with a bit of study. Why, oh, you just... Oi! You'll rip your arm clean off! Stop that now! Honestly, Edwin, can't you tell me what really happened with the Cat King? I have told you the lot of it. He was uncivil... No. ...and I was taken off guard when he spoke close to my ear. What? He right. Was... Oops. That is not important. <laughs> He's really freaking out. Oh my god. I need another book. Oh. This one doesn't. Oh no, what's that? Parasites? Oh. oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Charles, you're a ghost. You can't yeah. be sick. Now, which really? one of these sneaky paranormal parasitics found its way inside Nico? See if you can find a corresponding symptom. Okay. Spontaneous molting of the skin? No. Thirst for warm blood? No. Itching? No. Colorful secretions? Stop. That one, which one is that? Dandelion sprites. Mm. They sound harmless enough, don't they? <laughs> what? Explosion? Okay, that's not harmless. I love that this show also does the transitions the way a lot of um, game and stuff works. It's almost like the frames of a comic, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know we don't really know each other. I just... I've been going through some... Not... I don't know, it sucks when you feel like you can't talk to anyone about it. Like, even when you're around people, you still feel alone. I don't know my family, and I'm trying to track them down, but I, I just don't know where to start. And what's mm -hmm. stupid is that I could really use some parental advice, right? <laughs> like, I want my parents to help me find my parents. Oh. That's how it felt when my dad died. He always knew what to say. Oh. And he always wore fun socks. My mother sent me back to boarding school the day after the funeral. Far away from the sadness, but the sadness came too. Is that who the letters are from? Your mom? She's still in Japan? Yeah. I haven't opened them. I feel lonely too. Like, I may never find my family, I don't... That seems to be a theme here. Loneliness. Mm. Yeah. Like, how would they ever even find me? I mean, because Charles is lonely for his parents, he keeps checking up on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But as if I haven't been investigating the supernatural for, like, decades. It's all in this book. Well, we don't need to look at that book. Charles! Oh, Jesus, you guys are... You know, you also, I also noticed... Mm -hmm. The boys never change clothes. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit. Right, because they're ghosts. Why does city keep getting more disgusting? Nico is infected with a paranormal parasite. Dandelion sprites. Which sounds cute, but they're not. Mm -hmm. They feed on adoration, attention. You see it as the fuzzy pink light you described. Don't look at the lights. Got it. They make people look at her and they eat up the attention. And when they grow strong enough, then... Then what? They, um, 
They exit the body. Exit the body how? However they can. But I would not expect it to be polite. Who are you talking to? Uh, well... <clears throat> okay, I don't really know how to do this, so I'm just gonna do it. Okay, this is sort of hard to understand, but I was talking to my uh, secret friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't see them right now, but they really want to help you. Okay. Uh, I'm sort of special. Okay, that's not the right word. Uh, anyway, I can see them, and they just have a couple of questions for you. Oh. Are you insane? What? <laughs> <laughs> just for a second. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's kind of what I was going to say. Wow. Required. Perhaps there'll be a clue on how best to deal with them. Rose. Crystal, ask her if she spent any time in woodland areas as of late. And were there any graves or decaying bodies near her in the woods? Crystal, hello? Maeve, give her a minute. Uh, when did all of this first start? That is not what I said. I went looking for dandelions. When I was little, my okay. dad used to say that if you needed a little extra courage, a dandelion in your pocket would do the trick. And when you leave Osaka uh -huh. to go live on the opposite end of the globe, you need courage. Just think about this place you saw in the woods. Is there anything else about it that seemed odd? The only other thing I remember is some kind of shrine. You did amazing. We need her to lead us there. If the dandelion sprites came from that shrine, there may be a relic or glyph of some kind we can use to subdue. Uh oh. Nico? Does everybody remember the lights? Is nobody gonna say, hey, we were just looking at weird. Um, who's next? Uh, it might be a lingering effect. It's kind of like men in black with the memory thing. Yeah, yeah. After you see the flash, you can't remember anything, but it's already done its work. Okay. Ooh. 1950s bureaucracy, that is so cool. Bad boys. <laughs> We must apprehend them. Tell me. Um, one Charles Rowland, minor, deceased 1989, hypothermia and internal bleeding. Afterlife assignment. Oh. Pending. Never crossed over. Pending. We don't like that, do we? Oh, no, of course not. Uh, misplaced spirit. Misplaced? Oops. This is not lost or confused. He's cheating death. I love that they let her keep her Scottish accent. One, Edwin Payne, minor, deceased, 1916, ritual sacrifice, afterlife assignment, hell, uh, escaped, 1989. Escaped? Hell? Ladies, it is the stance of this department that a misplaced dead child causes more trouble than a live one, and there are more dead children now than ever before. But we simply cannot allow our success percentage to suffer. We cannot drown in the blood <laughs> of their weak, feeble bodies, and we must not allow these We're... two boys to run amok. Okay. The lost and found department will not be outboxed and made to look foolish by the very children we are meant to mind. Start the paperwork. No! I love, I love that. Wow. Oh boy. Wait, so Charles died really recently. Yeah, in 89. 
Yeah. Because that helps, yeah? That's why he's got the buttons on the lapels and his clothes look the way they do. Mm -hmm. It's all very 80s. What was that six again? No, I don't think that's a cat. It's like a raccoon or something. Well, this is not going to be able to count the cats. Exercise in humiliation. Look. Look at your fists. That only happens when you're very tense, mate. God, I haven't seen you this tense since the great chewing gum debacle of 06. What is it you're not telling me? I love these random things that they talk about debacles <laughs> and catastrophes. Yep. You of course, why this time is... period, well, from his time period, being gay was the worst thing that could happen. I know, but he's had like 90 years, 100 years to think about it. Maybe that's part of when you're dead of a certain era, that's what you're trapped in. It isn't as if I. Ooh. Dang body. Right. I think we found something. Oh, the shrine was there. I thought the shrine was in Japan. No, because she said when she moved to a different country, she would need courage. So she went right, out right, looking right. for dandelions. Okay. Oh, look. Lots of dead bodies. Which must nobody... be how, This must be how they escape when she might get called back. You know what I mean? Oh, that is so messed up. I like dandelions. This, this is going to make me not like them. Killing the host and spreading to the next. That's a beautiful one. Is it real? It's okay. It's okay. Oh no. Look at us. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. Perhaps whatever information used to be here would have been of some help, but it's been chiseled away. Hold on. I've got this. Whoever scratched it away doesn't know that we have lexicographical lenses to help us see what used to be there. It's probably not in English, so you give it a go. Good thinking, Charles. Right. So can you read it? Not exactly. This base root is oddly similar to Coptic. Maybe they share a common root? So I would say it is adjacent to something I can read. These small gods require constant gifts. No, not gifts. Sacrifices. They feed on the attention of others. They were abandoned here a long while back, mate. Must have been starving. I'm not going to feel bad for him ripping people up like this. Only this shrine's enchanted vessel can contain the sprites. Perfect. The little vase. Can I grab it? Should I not grab it? Uh, I'm not sure. Just give me a. I won't. Oh no no no! Don't do that. For another discussion and our impetuous bane. Sure, mate, after the skeletons. Whoa, the bay. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Carl's is not the most oh, clever creature on the God. planet. Oh, I mean, there was a little thingy, Hi. but. Hi. I didn't think I needed to make a sign, but obviously, no running. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, bye. That wasn't weird at all. Look, I think I'm being very chill and supportive and single woman out on her own about this whole deal. But what is going on with you? Mm -hmm. uh, is something wrong? I run on business. Oh, and in order to okay. do that... I'm going to regret this, but Crystal, give me that foul book. Sleep. Maybe there's something in there hmm? which can describe whatever just happened to us. In to my place. What are you doing? What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be monitoring Mika. I'm sorry. Are you kidding right now? What are you even looking at? Hmm? Uh, sorry. Again. Uh... <laughs> Oops. Let's go. But it's totally going to be handled. 
fine. Whatever. Just cut the weird shit. Or I'll like evict you. Okay, Nico. I was trying to tip. That's pretty reasonable. Time, so I'm gonna throw a lot of information at you, and you can't freak out. My secret friends, they're ghosts. What are you doing? I can see them and communicate with them. With me so far? I mean, yes. Okay, good. So, ghosts are real, and so is a bunch of other crazy stuff. And right now, one of those things is inside you, almost burst you open like a reverse pinata. That got dark. But it's okay because my ghost friends mm -hmm. are detectives and they're gonna help you. You just have to trust us. Crystal? Sure. You can't go around telling people ghosts are real. They will think you're insane. Which maybe you are, but they will make things messy. Okay, she threw up a rainbow and turned into a human nightmare. What was I supposed to tell her? I'm glad you told me. See? Oh. Wait, really? Just like that? Well, I'm very open-minded and also very concerned about bursting open. <laughs> yeah, that yes. part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So charming. Okay, please tell me you figured it out. We found a sacred vase at the shrine. Well, that's good. What's good? They found a sacred vase at the shrine. That sounds good. Then Charles dropped it. No. And now we need that sacred vase to trap the sprites. Charles, you dropped it? <laughs> Charles, the teenage boy who dropped the vase. That sounds bad. She says that sounds bad. We can hear you. Yeah. Him. He's the one that dropped the stupid vase. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I need for you lot to pile on. Now, I know I dropped the enchanted vessel, but just hold up a tick. We may not have the enchanted vase, but we do have an enchanted jar. That's what Tragic Mix said, right? Enchanted sound like the sea. A vessel, isn't it? Charles, that is brilliant. Well, now we just need something to lure the sprites out with. Not just going to go in, are they? Okay, we're going exorcist. There's no time for all of that. I trust you guys. Just move fast when you get the chance. Crystal, don't do anything silly. The dandelion sprites. I have a really attractive offer. Insolent child, left us to star. Now watch while we desert this land. Sweet. I have something you want. What, what could you have to satiate us? Me. My body is soft. What? No. Without hurting her. Crystal, have you got mental? Because she has a family. You, you can't take her away from them. I don't have a place. I don't belong anywhere. Please just take me and Oh, no, no. Oh my god. It's something else. Yeah, it's like mixed with lemon or something. It's bad. Hi. <laughs> that was unexpected. You're welcome. You must be so proud of yourself, huh? Big man trapped two inch sprites in a jar. <laughs> Trap a baby in a crib and act. Oh, yeah, you would do that, wouldn't you? You would. Fucker! Oh, wow. Huh? Charming. Baby trapping asshole. <laughs> Day officially saved. Job officially jobbed. That was fun. You did amazing, Crystal. Well, they poked holes in the limb. That's good. How do we know that doesn't let them out? <laughs> yeah, they're going to get from that room, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Enchanted stuff. That's that. I'm all your sprites. You don't need any oxygen. Fuck. Feeling like you don't have a place. Um, uh... Oh, yeah, that's true. The good detective says what she has to, right? Right. Mm. Well, for what it's worth, I'm glad the job works. I wasn't sure it was gonna. Yeah, me either. 
Anyway, <laughs> case isn't totally over yet. We have to go back to that shrine and torch dandelions before they can infect anyone else, don't we? Mm. Wouldn't want a town full of rainbow spewing dandelion zombies on the loose. Nico? Holy shit, your hair! I know, I look amazing. The Sprite's handiwork. Oh my god. Are these your friends? Where? You can see them? She can see she those? Close, she was close to death. Experience. Near death. Are you the... Nice. Okay. Yeah. Dead. Boy detectives. Sweet name. Oh, look at these cute little guys. Cute? That's offensive. I think it's past the time for us to get rid of <laughs> <laughs> so fancy. I can hurt anyone inside this jar, and maybe I can convince them not to hurt me. So this jar is a hate crime. Hang on. Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> you really need to hear it, okay? You should go fuck yourself. And are you hearing her? <laughs> or particularly nice. But they're getting attention. I know what it's like to want something you can't have. Oh. Okay. Then we'll get to the end. Uh -huh. Right time. Yep. What are you doing with that butt ugly sweater? You know what? You can take that sweater and you can shove it up your ass. Do you have any clue? Oh my god, such foul mouth. We are fucking god. You better hope we never get out of here or we're going to fuck you up like brass knuckles and mace fuck you up. We're not birds. <laughs> you know, it's not nice on. You can't fool. <laughs> <laughs> My whole thing would be, I would glue that fucking jar to, to that that thing because yeah, there's an yeah, earthquake yeah. or something. Oh no, I'm not gonna do. Oh no, no. I just thought about it, but maybe eventually. My uncle. Mm -hmm. Hi. Holy shit. Wow, lots of letters this time around. Seems like word got out that the dead boy detectives and their brand new medium are in town. I'm sorry, our brand new medium. Nice. Already a line of ghosts forming outside. Ooh, very cool. How many ghosts are in the town? Oh boy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well. Jesus. Did she. Did she hit Morty or whatever his name was? Monty, wasn't it? Something like that. Do you believe those pesky brat and mangy cat king went and trapped them in my town? So now, they're going to be sticking their little ghost noses into any little girl that I want to borrow. I, if I can't milk uh -huh. children's fear by feeding them to my snake, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Just a circle of life, Monty. Mm. Snakes. Oh, no. Girl's got to get her fix of pain and self pain so she can stay gorgeous. Monty, be still, be a good bird. What's she doing? Oh, God. Time to cook up a delicious Oh, cake. fuck, no. Oh, no, no, no. If you will. And that means feast in French. <laughs> And they're gonna get one. Little girl should not have been able to see inside my memory. Is she I making I a chimera? Tested me, but uh, yeah. And I think what's gonna happen is that that thing will cycle back. It's kind of like. Here you come in, Monty. My sweet, precious crow familiar. Uh huh. What? What? what what's that? Oh, a human. Yes. You are so charming. Oh, <laughs> who wouldn't trust that face? <laughs> okay. Wow. I see some boy drama cooking up here. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> Whoa. It's so cool. Okay. Uh.
Okay, thoughts on this episode? Yeah, I'm surprised at the level of freaking outness over the Cat King. He keeps like just remembering and remembering. That's fascinating. I hope. Yeah. I, I get the sense that in the end, the way to make the Cat, cat King happy is not going to be to count the cats. Yeah. Or he beats him at his own game in counting them in some way. Ooh. You know what I mean? I, I uh -huh. think Edwin's clever enough that I think this is one of the reasons why the Cat King says he finds him fascinating. Because I mm -hmm. think the Cat King sees a bit of catishness about him. You know what I mean? In, in mm -hmm. that, you know, cats live a very predator life, which means they always have to try to be several steps ahead of their prey in right. their hunting and stalking. So I think he probably sees a like spirit in that way. He sees that Edwin has some of those same qualities. And I think it's interesting that we're associating the queer factor with a cat. I think that's very, very interesting because mm. I noticed one situation when Edwin was in the background, he walked around, turned around, and he held, he stood in a pose that looked rem yep. reminiscently like the Cat King. I just thought that was mm. rather interesting that the physicality of it, I just went, mm, there's something cooking up here. There's something really, yeah. really cool cooking up here. And it's wonderfully mm -hmm. queer. <laughs> and I'm here that for it, so as the kids say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is very nice. I like that our cast is expanding. I like Nico. I hope we keep those sprites around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're kind of funny. <laughs> like I said, I would just glue that fucking jar down because I'd be too afraid. Yeah. Well, I live in California, so we get earthquakes. So I think of these things. Oof. But it's like, you know, yeah. shit can happen anywhere. They have volcanoes <laughs> in, in Washington State. I would definitely glue <laughs> that jar down so it can't fall off the shelf. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> And I think it's going to be interesting. And the other part that I think I'm not quite sure how it's going to factor into it, but the butcher, she's, mm. there's something going on there. And I'm not, I, I don't know if they're just playing her to be this kind of off character who happens to be helping them, not willingly, but kind of begrudgingly. I mean, it could mm -hmm. be just as simple as that, but I, I have a, there's something about her that I keep coming back to and going, there's something else going on here. Hmm. You know, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if she's a demon who forgot, or maybe she works for death because they said death has other beings hmm. out there who work for her. Yeah. So I don't know, you know, it could it be that, I, you know, so, and unfortunately in Gaiman's world, anything's up for grab, you know, you have yeah. to, let go and and not necessarily hone in on something as a rule until it gets mm -hmm. defined as a rule you know yeah yeah yeah. and then even then you can have false narrators and whatever's considered a rule could actually be a lie you know mm -hmm. so he's always keeping you guessing in that way which i like it, it makes fun for Ooh. an audience member to really see that mm -hmm. and try and suss it out as it goes along you know what do you think oh. i can't wait to see what the witch does I mean, the familiar Monty, that's that's pretty cool. And yes, we're probably going to get Monty trying to seduce Edwin at some point or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. I just want to see more witch powers. Which is kind of <laughs> interesting, actually, when you think about it, because that's the witch playing against the Cat King. So you're getting that through Monty. Oh, yeah. You're getting that little war going on. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. That's a really nice element it, when you right. think about it. It's like, it's, that's kind of a clever twist because now mm -hmm. they've got to deal with that aspect of it, you know, and, and I don't think the cat King is aware that that's now going to be entering this, the scene. You know right. what I mean? It's an, un, it's an unprovoked, it's kind of an unprovoked opposition that he had no idea he was engaging. He thinks he's just, right, 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 Edwin. Right. and then now this Monty guy shows up and kind of entices Edwin then the cat king will feel threatened i don't know it's just it, it adds a whole new element Ooh. to this war that's going right. on you know and i it seems like that war has been existing kind of as a cold war and now it's percolating and now that the dead boys have mm -hmm, arrived mm -hmm. and and we have you know the the i can't remember the what's the psychic's name um there's nico uh, crystal. and crystal that nico and crystal are yeah. uh, um have kind of open that and so this little cold war that's been simmering i think now mm -hmm. it's about to go boom you know Ooh. 
That's so, so cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, this is my guess. This is my wild ass. Yeah, theory, yeah we don't you know. know. I well, could be totally off base here, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, I've not read the comics. Now I'm kind of interested in going and find, finding them. Um, you know, and it's interesting. I, I, I remember picking up a lot of Gaiman stuff in like in the graphic novels and stuff. And mm -hmm. I've always loved it. I've always loved the artwork. I've always loved the way that a lot of the stuff that he does is really interesting. And I have his books. So it's not like I'm not used to his way of, of doing these things. Right. But um, it, it, I just think it's really clever because he plays on a lot of common mythology themes that we all know. Mm -hmm. um like when you get to american gods it's all the gods the old gods and you find out that they've lost power because people no longer believe in them mm -hmm. but they still have some power so there's that element it's the, the the devotion and we saw it here with the sprites you know you have to give devotion and attention in order for them mm -hmm. to have any power and i think that that's kind of a recurring theme in his whole thing and that people and what American Gods is about, in case you don't know, it's basically the American Gods are the new things like celebrity, technology, all of those things that people are so enamored with now. Right. And how they're even displacing the Judeo-Christian God because that turn is happening in society. So pretty mm -hmm. soon the, the, the kind of the uh, theory is that the judeo-christian ethics will start to slide off and become mm -hmm. less powerful and it's the the tangible kinds of things that humans are attracted to that have now become the new gods you know kind of thing and i think this ties into all of that in some weird way i don't know how mm -hmm. yet but i'm I, i'm definitely after watching the other three shows i definitely see a through line through all of them not just aesthetically, but I mean the universe. It all right, behaves right. in the same Ooh. way, you know. So I think, yeah, I'm definitely going to put those three shows on our list. We definitely have to do that. <laughs> yeah, for because sure. Because I, I think, I think you're going to really start to. A lot of light bulbs are going to start to go off. So right. we may end up picking up on those, uh, everybody out there. So um, nice. just to say, all of this is uh, <laughs> an ongoing experiment. We're just trying to find new queer things that we can yeah. comment on, as well as some of the older stuff that. Uh, a lot of the children out there may not know exists and some of the mm -hmm. stuff that Albert has never seen. So please like, subscribe, tell your friends what we're doing here. Buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com uh, buy slash rope podcast uh, or join our Patreon at three, five and eight dollar levels. You get different access to fully full reactions unedited. Um, and they are unedited. I leave in all the <laughs> oops. Oh, did you hear that? You know, kind of thing. Whoops. So, you know, you get, to, you get all of it uh, completely <laughs> unblemished. Um, so there's that. You can also join our pay our uh, YouTube as a membership and it's three, five and eight dollars. They're watch along versions of the uh, full reactions. So you can check that out as well. Um, you can find all of Albert stuff at albertnothlet.com. All my stuff's at sacollins.com. And all of this can be found at ropepodcast.com. So please come back and join us because we're definitely going to continue this uh, Neil Gaiman journey. I'll okay. talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>